What's up guys, welcome back to another amateur's golfing video. Today is my first attempt at a 18, 18 hole vlog. Um, I'm gonna try to record all my shots, post it in two different parts, front nine, back nine. A little caveat to today's round, I got word in the pro shop that there's a couple high school teams out here practicing, so I may bounce around to avoid them since I'm a single. Other than that, it's pretty open. It's 4.15 uh, on a Monday here in Phoenix. It's like 105 degrees, so not a lot of people golfing. Uh, but first hole, I'm gonna play from the whites, uh, which is at 6,200 yards, you guys. First hole uh, is 330 yards. Our par four, about 320 yards. Straight ahead. All right, guys. Tee shot ended up being all right. Uh, we're just here, just barely off the off the fairway here. Like I said, kind of pulled it. Got about 70 yards to the flag. Got to carry the bunker. Of course, my range finder is not working when I go to record. So, anyways, uh, we're going to be guessing these uh, yardages or doing it the old-fashioned way. But I got my 56 degree in hand, and just want to put one up there, give myself a look at birdie. It's a good swing, a little long, just off the green. All right, guys, hit my second shot, just a little long. Um, you know, being a 15 handicap, I'm not usually upset with being around the green in regulation. Um, but this is a tough chip shot. I'm short-sided, it's downhill. So I got my 60 degree and I just want to lay it just kind of on that fringe and hopefully it trickles past it so I have uphill coming back for par. I pretty much did what I was looking to do. So I got about, I'm about eight feet going back up the hill for par. All right, kind of hammered that putt, but bogey on the first hole, can't be too mad. On to the next par five. All right guys, hole two, uh, par five, about 480 yards from the whites. Uh, I got driver in hand, just trying to pull one out there real nice and easy, get myself a nice layup in on my second shot. Well, felt rushed, I topped my second shot, it's no excuse, but you hate doing this on a par five, hitting the drive maybe 100 yards. Uh, so I got my hybrid and I'm just trying to advance it and give myself a good look in for shot three. All right guys, my second shot, I'm about probably 130 out, got the 150 stake here. About 10 yards behind me, flag is front. So I'm gonna play it like 125. Um, there is a sand trap up there that I need to clear. So I'm just gonna aim left of the bunker. If I'm short, I'm okay. And I got a little gap wedge here. I'm just gonna swing easy and uh, hopefully throw on the green. Left. All right guys, we're here in three, uh, just off the green by about 15 yards. And again, this is like one of my biggest just gripes uh, when playing golf, especially as an amateur, is giving away shots. Free shots, the lack of focus where you top it, you hit it out of bounds, whatever it is. Uh, and that's what happened on the drive. I, I topped it. So normally I'm sitting about here in two on a short par five. Whatever, we're not living in the past. We're sitting here in three, 10 yards off. Uh, flag is right there. So I'm going to leave this ball short, if anything. So I have an uphill putt, 60 degree in hand. Let's put it in there. All right, guys, we got about 12 feet uphill for par. Definitely not ideal. Definitely giving away two shots so far on this hole. But again, we're just gonna worry about rolling this close and getting out of here with two more strokes and walking away with a bogey. All 
All right, guys, 153 yards, got my nine iron. All right, guys, all in all, not a bad shot. Just need to slow it down on my downswing a little bit. Uh, but we're literally pin high off the green by about six yards. Need to, need to commit to this, uh, this shot. So 60 degree, and I just want to land it about halfway there. Great for the program. Good par save there. All right, hole four, another par four, uh, 360 yards straight out there. Flag looks like it's back. Just gonna put a nice easy driver out there. Run. All right guys, that drive ended up being freaking fantastic. Probably hit it at least 300 yards. We're about, I don't know, 25 yards off the green here. Flag's probably about 45 yards. Uh, huge opportunity here. Uh, and again, this is where I, as an amateur, have the most opportunities in these, uh, the short game. Whether I'm scrambling or I give myself great opportunities like this on a par four. So 56 degree in hand and just wanna run it up there and commit to the shot, don't bail. Gotta look at birdie, but not the greatest hit. Kind of bailed on it. Probably still have like 30 feet going back up at it. All right, here we are, a scrambling amateur. Got about 35 feet coming back uphill at least. Um, I'm really just, I'm just, the goal is to have a good solid two putt here. Lag it close, keep it within three feet on the lag um, and walk out of here with a par. All right, we got about six feet, six feet for my par. Oh, I want that one. All right, guys, disappointed, yes, mad, no. It's just an opportunity to learn and know where my opportunities lie. I'm a pretty solid putter, um, so three putting there is tough, but I was 35 feet, I didn't give myself anything. Just know there's a ton of opportunity out there. Uh, we're three over through four. Got another shorter par four coming up. Uh, let's go get it. All right, guys, hole five, uh, another par five from the whites playing 348. Flag is pretty much straight ahead. Uh, it's actually more kind of over there. Uh, but just trying to put another nice, easy driver swing on it. Uh, accelerated a little bit again, a little pull, kind of bounced up there to the left. We should be all right. All right, guys, second shot here. Like I said, pulled my drive a little bit, got some good carry. We're probably about, I don't know, 65 yards out. Um, I have a feeling if I use one of my wedges, I'm gonna go on that tree. So I just got my seven iron. I wanna try to just kind of bump it up there. Oh, I did what I could. I did what I could with that second shot under the trees. Um, it's not really a shot I practice a lot, but nonetheless, sitting here in two, 10 yards off the green. Uh, probably got like 40 feet. The ground's a little hard. I'm not confident in the wedge, so I'm gonna do the old T wedge and. and that's how you duff your putter. All right, we got about 12 feet per par. All right, guys, par five, hole six, 518 yards. Uh, yeah, straight ahead and the green kind of back there off to the right. So kind of like a little baby dog leg. Um, so nice, easy driver thing. Just want to put it out there. This is definitely reachable in two. All right, guys, we're probably like 195 out. A little wind behind me. I'm gonna hit my seven iron. I'm okay if it's short, but again, this this ground is dry. The greens are dry, so this should run out and hopefully get on there if I hit it straight. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so that's probably the third shot I'd say I've left out there. I, you know, I tried to kill it, I accelerated, and I topped it. But thankfully, it's Arizona in the summer. We ran out. Probably still ended up being like a 160-yard shot. So we're off the green by about 30 yards. Going to chip it close. All right, guys, left myself about 20 feet for birdie. Uh, can't complain. Uh, a birdie would be awesome here, but I really just want to have a good lag putt and get out of here with a five. All right, guys, hole seven. Uh, the next three holes I like to call the bear trap here at Cave Creek Golf Course. I just feel like it's the toughest stretch of three holes, uh, especially seven and eight. Um, this Hole is probably playing about 160 right now. Again, I don't have my range finder, but a little helping wind. Um, I'm gonna hit my hit my nine iron because I'm confident with it. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Flag. Okay, here we are once again, a 15 handicap having to scramble. Uh, I've only successfully scrambled on one hole today. Uh, not complaining, just kind of point out my stats. So just off the green, it's definitely downhill. Got my 60 degree and I just want to give myself a putt, but I definitely want to leave it just on the green and let it roll out. We'll see what I got. <laughs> All right, guys, hole eight. Uh, by handicap, this is the hardest hole in the course. Uh, it is from the whites, about 400 yards, par four. Uh, about 300 yards out, there is a big ravine that drops down. You're completely live in there. Uh, you just lose sight of the green. So I still like to hit driver. Uh, just put one nice and easy out there. And there's the flag straight ahead. Driver's a little sporadic right now, making good contact, advancing the ball. Uh, that should, I probably still have about 160 yards from where I'm at. Just hit a missile at the tree, the tree knocked it down. All right, guys, uh, drive ended up okay over here in the right rough. Probably about 145, 150 out. Hit that last nine iron on hole seven a little long, so just wanna hit a nice solid pitching wedge. Might have a little bit of a flyer lie here, so. I'm okay if it's short. I don't want to go long. You got a pretty gnarly downhill behind the green. Hit the pitching wedge long. I mean, it was a great hit. I can't be mad, but totally flew on me and like never mad. That was everything I wanted to do. It's just not the outcome. And again, I don't know my exact yardage, so the excuse, uh, but that, yeah, it's off the back. All right, here we are, scrambling again. So like I said, I went long with the wedge. The tree's definitely blocking me out, so I'm just gonna lightly punch my seven iron and just leave myself some sort of putt up there. That could be really good. Oh yeah. Left myself about five feet. That is great for the program, boys. Saving par, scrambling on the hardest hole. Man, that just gets my mental game going real hard. <laughs> All right, guys, hole nine, uh, par four, 380 yards. Straight over those trees is the line. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna send a driver.
classic pull miss, yanking it. Had to tell myself to step on it. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, with that pull drive, it trees right here knocked it down. I definitely yanked at it, snapped at it. Um, so we probably got about 200 yards. Uh, I'm just gonna hit a five iron up there. Just anything around the green is the goal here. This camera's gonna keep me accountable because I just yanked at that. Just stood up out of it. But again, the hot desert. <laughs> again, the <laughs> just yanked that one. Again, the hot, the hot ground, the hard ground's gonna be okay on the outcome there. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Top that five iron, and we rolled up on the back side of the green. We got about 60 feet coming downhill. Just want to lag this close. That is probably one of the luckiest pars you'll see me make, but I will take it. Hey guys, if you made it this far in the video and you watched all nine holes, I really appreciate you stopping by uh, and watching the video. Uh, I did not record a formal outro on the course. Um, I'm pretty sure I had the score on the screen, uh, but I did finish five over on the front nine. Um, I will have the back nine coming here shortly. Um, so make sure you don't miss out on the back nine. If you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Liking this video and sharing this video really help. Um, I'm excited to record my journey and hopefully uh, get better uh, with my golf game. Thanks for watching Amateurs Golfing.